Okay, so I've just talked that over to that um, uh, left outside contact point on the tone control and I'll just need to drop a little bit of solder on that to finish that connection. And there you go. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is we need to make this pot into a tone pot. Um, to do that, we need to add one of these. And this is a capacitor. Doesn't matter if you've never done this before, it's actually quite simple. The capacitor is what gives a tone control its um, tone varying capabilities. I won't go into the electronics, uh, mainly because I don't know, but um, perhaps that's something you can find out and tell me. So there you go, that's the capacitor, it's the green ceramic or plastic thing with the two long wire legs. First thing we need to do is grab our pliers and cut one of those legs about halfway along. So it doesn't matter which one, just come in here, snip, and hopefully you can see that. I've now got one leg short and one leg long. Right. With the short leg, we need to solder that to the middle contact point on the tone control. So, sorry, on the tone pot. This is the tone pot here. We need to solder the short leg onto this contact point. We'll do that now. And to do that, we'll need to put a bit of solder on that contact point first. So I'll do that now. There you go. And I'll grab the capacitor with the short leg and I'll put the short leg on the outside of that pot. Uh, sorry, on the outside of that contact point. I'll hold the soldering iron there. And that should melt the solder that we've got on there and then keep that in place. And there you go. Hopefully you can see that. We've now got our capacitor by the short leg soldered onto the middle contact point on that tone pot. And that leaves the long leg leaning over the top of the pot and we want to solder that to the top of the pot. Now before we do that, remember we need to scratch the top of the pot surface up a little bit so we need to grab our screwdriver. Just got our screwdriver here, we're just going to scratch up the top of this potentiometer. What you're doing is you're just getting rid of the surface uh, that comes out of the factory. It's like a, like a clear coating. And what happens is when you try and stick solder uh, without rubbing this down, it, uh, do the solder doesn't tend to stick very well. So just grab a screwdriver or a blade or something sharp like that and just take that coating off. You'll see it when you're this close how it's uh, taking the um, uh, coating off and getting to the bare metal. Right, so we want to solder this long leg to the top of the pot. Before I do that, I might actually cut this leg a little bit. It's, see, it's just a little bit too long. So I'll just grab my pliers again. I'll bend that wire up. And I'll come in with the pliers. Probably about there. There you go. So I've cut about perhaps a third off that uh, long leg there. Now I'll bend that capacitor down, so there it goes. It's touching the top of the pot where I've scratched it off. Now we just need to drop a blob of solder on there to make that sure that's uh, earthed. And there you go, that's earth to the top of the tone control. So that is now a tone pot. And we can just bend that capacitor down to get it out of the way like that. Okay, it's time to start working on these wires from our pickups now. Now, you, the, you'll notice both wires have two wires coming out of each. There's a bare wire and then there's a white coated wire with a bit of bare wire at the end. This white coated wire is the hot wire and the bare wire is the earth wire. And that's consistent with all our guitars. They all have that same wiring pattern. So what we need to do is we need to grab these earth wires, the bare ones, and we need to solder them to the top of the volume pot. Like we did with our um, 
tone control tone pot, we need to scrape the surface of that so we get a nice contact point. So we'll do that now. Grab our screwdriver and we'll just take off that surface there. We can do the whole top of that pot because we'll need all that surface to earth all our wires. And there you go, that's fine. That should do that. So we'll grab the um, yellow wire first and we'll solder that to the top here. When you're soldering to the top of a potentiometer, um, it's probably a good idea to put down a little pool of solder first. It just makes the job a bit easier when you um, come into earth the wire. So it can be quite liberal there. There's a nice blob of solder there. So we'll grab our earth wire. It's probably a little bit long, so why don't we trim that a bit? And you'll notice that I've also twisted the, all these wires. I've twisted them in so that they're one consistent wire rather than just loose strands. So I'll cut that about a third of the way along. Hopefully. There you go. And I'll just twist that again. And I just need to hold that there over the blob of solder, like so. Let's grab the soldering iron and heat it up till it melts and then we can put that in. Just be careful when you do heat it up, you don't touch the wire because that'll be hot. And grab it with the plastic if you like. So melt that solder. Alright, now I want to repeat that same process for the red wire. So I'll grab the bare wire from that red wire and I've twisted it and I've just cut a little bit off the end and now I want to earth that onto the back of the volume pot as well. So what I need to do is just heat up that solder again, put that on there and then solder that over the top of the bare wire from the yellow wire. There you go. So we've now got the earth wires from both the pickups coming into the back of that volume pot. I might just put a little bit more solder on the top of those just to make sure they're secure. And there you go, they're both secure. Okay, so it's time to look at the three-way switch. Now, you grab your three-way switch and turn it over and you'll see that it's got a few contact points on the back. This one has one, two, three, and in, uh, along the middle there, and then one on the outside. These three in the middle, the two outside ones, are for your pickups, for the hot wires from your pickups. So we'll need to solder those up there. So this one, here in the middle, that is your output contact point. So that's going to run from here to the contact point on your tone control. And don't forget that your tone control and volume pot are already connected. So what happens then is a contact uh, from your volume pot goes to your output jack and that completes the circuit. So we'll get to that in a minute. But here we are, we've got the contact point for your uh, pickups on the outside edge, the power output contact point and that'll eventually lead to your output jack, so you actually get a sound. And this one here on the edge, that actually is going to solder onto your top of your volume pot, and that's just another earth. All right, so let's start. We'll grab the um, hot wires from our pickups, and we'll solder those to the outside contact points there. And listen, it doesn't actually matter which one is which um, volume or tone, because uh, this switch can go in either way. So. Do your wiring first, and then when you put this in the guitar, if it's the wrong way round, and to how you like it, then you can just turn it round, and then it'll be the right way. So I'm going to start with the hot wire from the neck pickup, and you remember the neck pickup is the yellow wire. So I'll grab that wire there, and I'll put the three-way switch into its little hole. Like, oh, I can actually take that plastic, take that plastic thing off the. Uh, three-way switch, put it into the middle position and just put it through that hole there and it should sit there comfortably while you get to work on it. Just turn that around. There you go. That. So there you go, I've got the hot wire from the yellow wire, which is the neck pickup, and it's through this first contact point in the middle here. I've just threaded it through that and it's holding there in place. I just need a drop of solder on that just to keep that in place. 
Don't forget we've tinned these wires to start so that should make it a bit easier as well. And there you go, as simple as that. So that's the hot wire from the neck pickup done. We now need to grab the hot wire from the bridge pickup and co make contact with that contact point on the outside. So we'll grab that wire, keep it nice and twisted, feed it through that contact point on the outside. Just enough so you can curl it around. And there you go. So it's nicely in place there. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit tight, we can play with the wires a bit later and we can actually uh, remove some of that red and yellow plastic to make the wires a bit longer if we need to. So now just a little drop of solder there. Just check those wires there. Both of those look pretty good. Okay, so we've got our hot wires joined up from the neck and the bridge pickups. We've got the earth wires soldered to the top of the volume control, sorry, the volume pot. And it's looking pretty good. Okay, I've now grabbed another short bit of wire and I've trimmed and tinned the ends. And I want to run this from the middle contact point. I'll just show you that one there between the two hot wires. So in this middle contact point, and I want to run that to the back of the tone control to earth it. So, I'll feed that through the middle control. 